Hello everyone, Wade from High Tech Legion here, and with over 1500 videos uploaded, if you haven't seen it here, you may not have seen it anywhere. And in this video, we're going to be performance tuning the Sapphire Radeon R9 285 ITX Compact OC Edition graphics card using the Sapphire Trix Tweak Utility. So what we have up right now is our Sapphire Trix Tweak Utility. I also have Heaven up in the background. Unigen Heaven because that's what we usually at High Tech Legion test the overclock with to make sure it's stable because it tends to um, cause be more likely to cause the card to lock up and crash rather than some of the other benchmarks in our experience. So what we have here on the Trix utility is a very simple interface and the first page you get is the info tab which has all of the stats for the card. You also have a button here to save the BIOS from the card and also to save a report. On the top here, you have a drop down box. So if you have more than one card installed into your system, you can use the drop down box here to pick which one you want to tune. On the right, of course, we have a minimize button and a close button, the X, and a temperature gauge that no matter what tab you're on, shows up. Overclocking tab, this is where the magic happens. So this is where you can tweak the GPU clock, the memory clock, and the power limit. You also can save profiles. So the way you do this is you right click or you click on the profile button, sorry, and you save the pro the settings to the profile or you load them. In this case I've saved two profiles to one and two already so I can load them and if you want to clear out a profile of course you have the option to clear it as well if you click reset down here that will reset everything to the factory defaults and then apply of course applies the settings the way this tool works is you can use the plus and minus buttons to adjust you can use the sliders to adjust or you can type in the box here for example 1068 and also you have a fan control section under the fan control section you can do an automatic mode which is default you can do fixed mode where you set a certain percentage of the fans right now they're maxed out you probably can hear them a little bit or you can do a custom fan profile where you can set the curve for the fans based on the temperature of the card down here and this is the percentage that the fan would crank up to. I'm going to leave mine on automatic because that's the default and we like to test things at default settings for uh, stability. So here we are sitting at the default settings for the card. 928 megahertz GPU, 1375 for the memory clock and it's zero for the power limit so it's at default. As I had said I already set profiles and kind of played around with the card a little bit before recording this so I'm going to press on the one and load the profile with the settings that I was able to achieve. So we got a GPU clock of 1068 megahertz, which is 140 megahertz over what the card ships at, 928, and 1470 for the memory clock. So we're 95 megahertz over the memory clock as well. This was before seeing any artifacts in Unigen Heaven. I was able to push it a little bit further than this before but um, once I started sh seeing artifacts in heaven when I ran it I backed it off a little bit because what's the point in overclock if you're not gonna be getting decent um, viewing on your games that you're playing also set the power limit to 20% just to make sure that the card has plenty of ability to pull power the power supply is more than capable of providing the power necessary to the card so there's no sense in not pushing that up for this, especially because I'm one of those people that typically I only run the overclock when I'm using the card heavily. So what we're going to do here now that the overclock's engaged, I did hit apply to make sure that the settings take effect. We're sitting at 36 degrees idle. It's a little warm in the, the room that I'm recording in, so um, idle temperature is a little higher. Also, going to pull up Unigen now and run it. I do have it in windowed mode so that I can slide it to the side 
and show you the temperature. Once this is loaded, we'll start the benchmark. And initially, I'm going to start it. I'm going to let it run through a little bit. I want you to see that the car doesn't crash, you know, at these settings. But because it's about 10 minutes to run this benchmark, I will stop it and then I will come back to Unigen at the end when the results are up on the screen. So as you can see, we're running. We've been running for a few minutes. Up at the top here, graphics course showing 1068 with 1470 for the megahertz. The temperature, unfortunately, is not read properly by Unigen, so it's sitting at zero. And you can see down here that our frames per second at this point are hovering around 39.7. There are some scenes in Unigen that will are less intensive that will cause that frame rate to jump up a little bit more. So right now I'm going to stop the recording and come back to it so that you can see the results at the end. Let me just slide this over to the side real quick so you can see we're sitting at 62 degrees, 63 degrees, uh, even with the overclock on the card. So the cooler is definitely doing what it's supposed to do. Fan control, current fan speed, 40%. You can hear it a little bit, but not that much. Slide this back. Like I said, I'm going to stop the recording now, and then I will show you the result at the end once this is run through. So here we have the end of the benchmark, and you can see from our results we hit 43.4 frames per second. I just want to note that because this is in windowed mode and we were recording the video, we did lose a little bit of performance in the benchmark. I did see 44.3, so just about a frame difference higher without running the recording program and running the benchmark at the same time. Let me just close this out here and pull up my screenshot of it just to show you what I'm talking about. So here we have the report from Unigen, and that's what I, 44.3 frames per second. So we did lose a little bit recording the video and running it in windowed mode because this was running full screen, but that's still a significant bump from the 40.1 frames per second that we saw at stock speeds. So <clears throat> you got 4.3 frames per second higher. Uh, on Unigen, which is pretty significant um, typically because overclocking doesn't usually cause Unigen Heaven to uh, improve in performance drastically. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope the performance tuning was helpful to you for tuning your own card. And for the full review, please see www.hightechlegion.com. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter pages. Take care.